Hi guys, what's up? Thank you for watching this video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about All American Season 3, Episode 10, titled Put Up or Shut Up. We have a lot to discuss, so let's get right to it. But first, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Like this video and leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts about this episode. I literally screamed and if I would have had a wig on, I would have threw it. The way Simone read Laura Jordan's mom, I literally gagged. I was like, yes, sis, you let her know. You better tell her. If she was a good mom in the first place, she would have already known all of this. But no, Simone had to let her know. So after Jordan took that hard hit and passed out and all that, they all went to the hospital and Laura had a list of questions to ask the doctor. And when the doctor came out to talk to them, Laura wouldn't let the doctor talk. She started asking all her questions that she wrote down. You could tell by the look on Simone's face that she was tired of Laura talking. So she asked the doctor, could she talk to him in private? And Laura's like, what you doing? She told Simone that you're just his friend and you can leave. And Simone was like, well, actually, I'm his wife. And whatever I say overrides whatever you have to say. And Laura was shook. So some time had went by and Laura went up to Spencer and Olivia and asked them if they knew about this. And Spencer was like, yeah, we were witnesses. And then she looked at Olivia and she was like, how can you lie to me? And Olivia's like, how did I lie to you? And she was like, not telling me the biggest news of your brother's life is the same thing as lying to me. And in my head, I'm like, let's talk about good parenting, sis, because you don't know about that. Stop trying to point the blame at others. <laughs> so Simone told Laura, you know, don't be mad at them. If you have a problem, be mad at me. And she said this all respectfully, you know, and she was like, we can talk about it. And Laura's like, oh, yeah, we will talk about it. But I'm concerned about my son being in the hospital and walks away all angry. Be mad at yourself. Be mad at yourself first. <laughs> So basically, the doctor lets everyone know that Jordan will be okay. There's no bleeding in his head or nothing like that. But the only problem is, is that he got a second injury before the first one fully healed. And his mom and dad are like, that's impossible. He passed all his protocol. And Jordan was like, that's not true. I lied to everybody. I even had symptoms this morning. I just wanted to play. And since he wanted to be dumb, the doctor told him that he doesn't think that he should play football anymore this season. And this is Jordan's senior year in high school. So he probably just messed up his whole career, his whole future out here being dumb. He did have a college coach from Arizona State at the game to see him that Coach Montez set him up with. But that's probably all ruined now. I guess we're all just going to have to wait and see what happens with Jordan next. Just like Jordan's going to have to wait and see what happens with himself next. Olivia went to her first meeting and there's already an annoying girl in there named Nina trying to be her sponsor. But Olivia's not feeling her and I'm not feeling her either. She's way too much and she's doing too much. Laura asked her if that's going to be her new sponsor because she was talking to Olivia like they were friends. And Olivia was like, no, basically like, no, she's crazy. But this lady right here who holds the meetings will be Olivia's new sponsor. She gives tough love and she tells it like how it is. And I think Olivia needs that in her life. They know each other from some time before and Olivia was telling her that she didn't want to go to some fancy place. And her response was, it doesn't matter where you go if you don't participate. Olivia was just observing in the meeting and eating her cookies, which is a whole mood. I don't blame her. She was, you know, just scoping everything out. And, you know, you don't want to talk all the time when it's your first time. So I understand. But, you know, this lady was like, no, you need to participate. But she did participate in the next meeting. And she said the reason why she relapsed is because people kept leaving her when she was always there for them, but they didn't care. And Nina was like, Oh, it's okay. It's not your fault. But her new sponsor was like, don't tell her that. She was like, it is your fault. It's not about people leaving you. Stop pretending that people did this to you and take responsibility for your relapse and stop blaming this on other people. 
so I like her new sponsor. I can't remember her name, but I do like her. And they all came to this agreement about her being her sponsor when they was in the hospital waiting on Jordan to wake up. She works at the hospital and that's when we got to see a little bit of a more softer side to her when she found out that it was Olivia's brother who um, got knocked out in the game. And while they were there, that's when Olivia was telling her that she wanted her to be her new sponsor. And at first she was like, no, you know, I might regret this, but you know, I'm gonna do it anyway. So yeah, I can't wait to see how this makes Olivia a even more of a better person. And so we can get this show on the road with her and Spencer being together like they always should be. Meanwhile, Jordan is ready to go to blows over Vanessa with Asher. JJ asked Asher to put in a good word for him with Vanessa after he won Homecoming King that night. And that's what Asher did. He tried to put in a good word for JJ, but Vanessa was like, I want you. I'm waiting for you. And she was like, the only reason why we didn't kiss this summer is because of Olivia. But you're single now and no one will get hurt if we do it now. So what's up? So they went in for the kiss and then Asher was like, nah, you know, someone will be hurt. You know, JJ will be hurt. So she got mad, got in her car and was out of there. And I was like, bye girl. So JJ was thinking Asher made him look like a fool this whole time. And he was like, I offered you my crown and you over here trying to steal my girl. And I was like, of course, he can't be too serious. He over here mad, but he over here saying something stupid at the same time. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, Vanessa don't want to be with JJ. She won't choose JJ. She won't ask her. So we're going to see how this play out. Layla found out that her dad is dating one of his artists. And that's the reason why Patience is going on a new tour. Layla should have been new about this, but I mean, better late than never, I guess. And she was pretty upset about this. Her dad was like, I'm grown. I can do what I want. And she's like, that's not the point. But, you know, we will see. Coop finally put her guard down with Mo and apologized to her after all this time. And she never should have done it. Because right after she apologized, some guy went up to Mo and was like, what was that about? And Mo was like, she finally put her guard down. So we're going to see what Mo got up her sleeve. I never did trust her, but Coop was going too hard. Coop was annoying me with this, honestly. But I knew we couldn't trust Mo. So we're going to see what Mo got up her sleeve. Coach Billy got eight out of nine college coaches to come look at Spencer at this game. And Spencer tore this field up like we knew he always could. Because, you know, it's been a while. Him and his daddy are now tied with seven touchdowns in one game. It would have been eight, but he stopped and he wanted to share the seven with his dad. I think that speech that Coach Billy gave during the game really motivated Spencer and that's just what he needed for him to show out like that. So hopefully all eight wants him because we need him to have options out here. And that's it for now. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this episode. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.